do you want, von Smallhausen? <laughs> Telegram, Herr Flick. Go away! You are Private Helga Gerhardt? I am. Herr Flick orders that you also attend. Please, come with me. <laughs> it appears that the sausage contains a valuable painting, which you no doubt were keeping safe for Hitler. That is correct. When did you learn of this? I received the information at 11 o'clock this morning. That was four hours ago. Why did you take so long to inform me? The message was wrapped around a brick and thrown at my head. <laughs> I have just regained consciousness. So, Gruber, the finger points at you. <laughs> but why would I tell you that this is a forgery, knowing full well that it would make you cross? I could have told you my little doggy had eaten it. I think this man is innocent. What sort of a Gestapo officer are you saying a man is innocent? <laughs> it is fortunate we discovered the wavelengths they were employing. We have also discovered that there are two British airmen disguised as French maids. Do you wish me to search all the French maids in the town? <laughs> what makes you think you would gain entry into any house with your hat covered in bird droppings? <laughs> <laughs> Mother Hubbard was looking in the cupboard to find for her poor doggy a bone. A bone? And where do you find bones? At the butchers. Where else, von Smallhausen? Where else? In the graveyard. <laughs> Well, lately, there has been much digging. <laughs> we will investigate. Oh, you have an incredible brain, Herr Flick. Do not be a little crawler. <laughs> Herr Flick, I think we are in danger. Someone is jumping on our tunnel. Do not be a mummy's boy von Smallhausen. Continue to excavate. I will get to the end of the tunnel if I have to dig all night. But Herr Flick, you are not digging. I am. Do not split hairs. <laughs> you are late, von Smallhausen. My peasant servant forgot to wake me up. Did you shoot him? <laughs> oh, no. I spoke to him sharply and told him to be more careful in future. I sometimes wonder how you got into the Gestapo, von Smallhausen. <laughs> I think it was the limb. <laughs> and the sinister gaze. <laughs> You have three minutes. Herr Flick, it is I, von Smallhausen. How did you get in here? I told the guard it was flag day. <laughs> you look ridiculous. I have opened your secret drawer and I have brought for you your suicide pill. <laughs> Crush it between your teeth and nobody will know what a fool you've made of yourself. Through this almost invisible microphone. <laughs> The most intimate conversations can be heard. I find the ingenuity of the Gestapo most exciting, Hefflick. You may kiss me. I overheard that quite distinctly. Go and hide under a bush. Thank Himmler you are here. The spine have put me on the rack. I ordered it. You ordered it? Why did you order it, you oversized fruit bat? I told him I wish to interrogate you. I did this so that we could, we could discuss your escape in general terms. For the sake of reality, could you give from time to time a little scream? Certainly not. Get in the back. I will drive. What do I do if anyone speaks to me? Hit them with your whip. Do you wish me to sit on the left or the right? <laughs> Von Smallhausen, what are you doing here? I have a plan for your rescue here, Fleek. What kept you? <coughs> you have been here 24 hours and have replied to none of my questions. 
This is because I do not know the answers, Heflick. They all say that. <laughs> this is definitely the work of the resistance. Mm. Anyone looking suspicious will be shot. Especially gypsies. <laughs> India or China? I would prefer Lap San Sushong. <laughs> How dare you try to bluff a senior Gestapo officer with a pair of tens? I have one. Am I allowed to see your hand, carefully? No, you have lost. <laughs> I get your Gestapo pen and pencil set. Excuse me, is this the secret headquarters of the Gestapo? <laughs> it was until now. Send the best photographs that you could get. With respect, Herr Flick, I could hardly ask the communist resistance to pose. <laughs> All you've got is one communist hand. <laughs> Hans Kohlhausen, there are 50 million people in France. Most of them have two hands. That makes 100 million hands. <laughs> Identifying this one hand will be quite a task. <laughs> Go to it. <laughs> Pass me my brace and bit. We will bore a hole through in order to observe and listen. Is the hole big enough? Quite big enough. What can you see? You have failed again, von Smallhausen. We are over the servants' quarters. I am watching a lady cook taking a bath. <laughs> This looks like a good kitchen. We will sell our fish. I have some pinkles. I have some pinkles. I have the crabs. I have the crabs. Monsieur Alphonse, you would be well advised to talk to me before Herr Flick returns. I've told you all I know, monsieur. <laughs> me to deal with the prisoner. In what way? You have heard about the velvet glove? Yes, I have. What exactly do you do with it? <laughs> I suspect that all of the money will be hidden in the undertaker's mortuary. Von Smallhausen, you will at once gain entry and conduct a search. How will I do this without arousing suspicion? You will go as a corpse. <laughs> Here, Flick, I have many twitches that will give me away. <laughs> I have good news, Herr Flick. I have finally caught the wandering pillow stuffer. He is outside. Then bring him in. Bring the prisoner in here! <laughs> <laughs> I suppose you thought that because von Smallhausen was very small and walked with a limp, you could outpace him. Little do you know, he was the cross-country limping champion of Westphalia. <laughs> Here opposite is an observation point. The church tower. Correct. Twelve feet from the ground are two small, unobtrusive openings. From these, we can see directly into the larder and the windows above. Oh, you are a marvel, Herr Flick. You will go a long way with your brain. And you will go nowhere with yours. <laughs> it is my opinion that under cover of the darkness, the resistance will transport them to their secret headquarters. As soon as we hear somebody speaking in the French tongue, we will leap out, subdue them, arrest them, and march them to Gestapo House. We are very brave, are we not, Herr Flick? We are mad as hatters. <laughs> but that is the Gestapo for you. Von Smallhausen and I will be on this train. We will recover the painting. We will sell it, and then we will run away to a tropical island. There we will lead a simple life together, dressed in banana leaves, as we <laughs> frolic in the surf under the warm sun. Does this appeal to you? All except the sea. <laughs> I am not a very good swimmer. <laughs> I 
I will take that. At least I would, but I'm not about to become unconscious. <laughs> Is prepared. The sticks are firmly thrust into some hair flick. Have you tested your camera? Not yet. Then do so. Good. You have ten feet of film nestling in your left booby. Make the most of it. How do we convince the resistance that we are genuine British airmen? We carry cricket bats. <laughs> Good thinking. But rather obvious. No. We wear British uniforms, and we both jump out of a captured British Wellington. A British Wellington's big enough. <laughs> Halt! My name is Captain Heisengerkin. I am here to collect the British airmen. Let me pass. I'm sorry. I cannot admit anybody of a rank less than Major. How about a Field Marshal? <laughs> field Marshal! For me, Captain Heisinger. <laughs> you von Smallhausen mix with low life in the district. Find me a fence. I will try, Herr Flick. Be my friend in this matter, and you will not go unrewarded. You can rely on me, Otto. <laughs> my friends call me Herr Flick. Only bosom pals call me Otto. And your bosom pal has gone off with an eye tie. <laughs> Don't remind me of that. Find out the position of the explosives and see if we can defuse them. That will be very dangerous work, Herr Flick. I have every confidence that you will succeed, von Smallhausen. <laughs> Here is the Gestapo defusing explosives handbook. It is by the late Professor von Flattenhead, <laughs> who, as you will know, is buried in Munich. And Hamburg and Brennan. <laughs> Bone up on it. Yes, Sir Flick. <laughs> Who is this? It is I, von Smallhausen. Give the password. I do not know the password. Then stay in the passage forever. <laughs> Dip, dip, dip. <laughs> there goes a British airman to Berlin. We have been thwarted. I was also thwarted this afternoon. That is twice today you have been thwarted. <laughs> Some people attract bad luck. That is true. Come here. <laughs> 